Hi everyone, it's Teresa with Wander with Teresa, and I have tried three times to make a video to follow up with the supplements and the cold medicine, and I've kind of failed miserably. Listen, do the best you can. Please look under, leave no stone unturned. If you have a hospital near you that has an outpatient pharmacy, check to see if they have anything. Find the mom and pop stores that you have never been to for pharmacy. If you've exhausted all the big box and buck 25 store, Google what's around you if you don't quite know what's around you. Uh, look for actual health food stores. I mean, Whole Foods is a health food store, but there may still be a standalone mom and pop. Go look and find those. Uh, if anyone's got base privileges for the military, where they have the post exchange and commissary, and if you um, if you don't, but you know somebody who does, maybe they would take you to get in there uh, so that you can maybe get in and get some medication, or they can purchase it for you and bring it back to you. Do the best you can. Now, with that being said. <clears throat> Uh, I was talking, you heard me start to talk to somebody on the, uh, other video and I hung up the camera. I've worked with this woman for years. She's a great value for information and help. Uh, but I did turn off the camera cause I didn't want to catch her, you know, and just, Hey, I'm recording. I didn't want to surprise her. Uh, go to the health food stores and ask questions. Go to your pharmacy. Information is free from the pharmacist. They will help you with things if they have them. It's, we can't, we can't get anything in. We, we've we tried this, the main store. Okay, I work for the company and I float, but they put an order in. They don't get it. We've put orders in the pharmacies. Hey, we need this. We need this. We need this. We can't get it. There are huge uh, holes that we can't fill. I have found, and this was a weird trend, and I don't know if it's still happening, but the clearance racks at most of the stores I was working at had cold and cough medicine on them. So check out the clearance sections, uh, because if it's not moving because it's too expensive, it might be on the clearance rack. And maybe a little bit more affordable. I did show you guys some stuff I bought uh, the other day on one of the videos. And it was a clearance haul. And it was medicines. Look at them. See if you can find something that will be helpful for your kids and your family. Also, looking at supplements. If you guys do a, a multivitamin every day, uh, do you have enough to cover yourself for a while? If not... Stock up on that. I know if you're doing self-reliance and prepping, you already are. But also look where you can get the alternatives that would be helpful. Also, stores will have buy one, get one free sales on certain medications. Pretty much maybe just start hunting the ads down to see where you can go for the things you need. People take supplements for so many different reasons. It's I really can't go into the, all the details of why you would do it. But if you're paying really outrageous amounts of money for it, is there no other way you can have this medication and save money? And one of mine is, I put it away already, it's a, it's a heart health uh, pill. It's a capsule. And it has herbs and CoQ10. And some other things to help with my heart. If I bought all these things separately and had to take all these things separately, it would cost me a lot and I would be spending a few minutes swallowing pills. I pay over $30 a bottle for these because they're all in one place. Yes, I did say over $30, about $34, just under $34. And it's supposed to be one twice a day. And I take one a day because although I'm a snob, 
I'm a cheapskate. So I stretch it out for two months. Very much like when people will, you know, skip a day on meds just to make sure they have a backlog. I've heard too many people tell me they do this to not believe it. Um, so I know that happens. Try to find your cheapest alternatives so that you can have those on hand and stocked up. Because if you've, if you're always getting, I'm trying to think of something like one a day, something tabs and you can't find them. Can you use Centrum? Can you use store brand? It's got everything in it, but the Centrum label on it. Look at that. You're going to have to do a little bit of reading and investigation, but try to put out the effort to make sure you can help supplement your health if you choose to take supplements so that you have that. So that's my call to sell for that is look for the supplements, try to save as much money so that you can buy more to have them in stock. Uh, cold medicines for kids and for adults. If it says limit four, bag your limit best you can and maybe in the next day, go back and do it again. Uh, at this point, I don't think it's unethical to say that if you, if that's the priority, you need to take care of the priority. Take care of your family. Try to find the out-of-the-way places where you may not have gone yet to find medication. Reach out to family and friends. Somebody may know someplace. Oh, there's a health food store. It's funky. Da -da 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 -da. Find out the address. <laughs> Go look. I know this isn't probably the best information, but... It's what I've got, and now we can have a conversation. If somebody's got better ideas and hears this, speak up. If you've got a great idea, go for it. So up in the conversation, I'm going to post this, and I will talk to you guys in the morning with it. By the way, 76 subs, thank you so much. People who have been here, people who are new, thank you, thank you. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. And then let's start a conversation because maybe we can figure out places people can go to find the meds they can't find right now and what people do for it. So I will see you guys in the next one. This is Teresa and I'll say goodnight now.